Hey guys, uh, so it's been a very long time since I've done a subscriber request video. Uh, she didn't exactly, uh, you know, uh, request the video. However, I've mentioned in the past, right, that sometimes, uh, once in a while, when somebody, a subscriber, is going to ask a very serious question and it warrants a very big answer, then we're going to get into a video on it, okay? So, uh, Irene over here, she asks, Hey Peg, I have a question maybe you could answer or someone else may answer. Is there a safe way to vape at... 0.06 ohms on an 18650 battery in any configuration. I know about uh, milliamps and voltage and the difference between wiring batteries in series versus parallel, but someone mentioned since they had a mod with three batteries, it uh, would be safe to vape at this resistance. And I have not read anything, you know, suggesting the batteries. Uh, can somebody explain this to me? Okay, so. Um, for something like this, right, the first thing that we need to do is go over to Battery University to get the general gist of what series and bar parallel configurations are and what they do and how they work, all right? Now, what's not here is because it's a, it's a little bit... Um, uh, it's a little bit shallow to, to, to go deeper into this right I will explain more um, I will leave the link for this over here and then you know you can go to battery university and then look up more and more and get deeper and deeper about it this is basically just the surface of understanding uh, parallel and series configurations right so let's talk about series and parallel as uh, part of vaping okay and this will probably a answer a lot of questions regarding like different kinds of box mods and how they're uh, especially unregulated box mods and how they're rigged up and what they do all right uh, the first thing is that like we need to go around go ahead and play around with the Ohm's law calculator so that like you know um, uh, an idea of what's going on okay it's better that like I just go ahead and, and play with the numbers over here so that like you see what happens and then you can get the uh, a real good grasp of it so uh, off the top of my head right the <coughs> the current required of what she wanted over here was uh, a, a a build at 0 0.06 so doing things at 0 0.06 over here and uh, we have to work with some real-world numbers okay so this requires experience uh, considering the atomizer is built at 0.06, this is a very heavy coil. So what happens is that the moment that you fire this thing, you're not going to get 4.2. You're going to get, you know, it's going to drop down to like 3.7 and 3.5 or something like that. So somewhere around the 3.7 H uh, range should give you about like 60 amps. So when we calculate this 60 amps, blah, 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 whatever, this is all running off that one battery. Okay. Now, uh, obviously this is incredibly unsafe because uh, the the amps is too high for it and we've also um established right that there is no such thing as the 40 amp battery okay and as far as 60 amp uh 30 amp batteries are concerned 30 amp three zero okay uh these uh, batteries are concerned uh, i think there's only two or three uh 30 amp batteries in existence that are legit all right uh, I, I've, I've yet to uh, confirm which ones uh, th there are, but like I have a list of it uh, on, on the side. Um, because right now we're still in the midst of uh, figuring out the, um, the mid-range batteries. The mid-range batteries are talking about like 20 amp batteries at around 2,500 ma, okay? Because that's what's mostly accessible to everybody right now, whether it's your Samsung 25Rs or your LG HE2s, uh, HE4s, uh, you know, e purple e fests and stuff like that. That's what's mostly, uh, you, you know, just out there, including like uh, all, all those green imprints that's, that's out there. Don't be fooled by the hype the, of those things saying like 38 amps and 40 amps or whatever. I still recommend that people float around the 20 amp area in order to stay safe because once you move into like that whole pulse ranging thing or whatever, then you're just gambling, okay? Uh, I'm not going to say it's the right thing or the wrong thing to do because there's a lot of cloud chasers out there who's going to tell you that pulsing is absolutely safe. Uh, I'm not going to say that here. That's what they say. That's what I want to make clear, okay? And I, I would never recommend somebody to go do that. So to each his own. Anyways, so um, given the question over here, right? And then somebody said, well, I have a mod with like three batteries in it. Then I would imagine that the person is trying to say something like, well, I have a, uh, a, a, a triple parallel setup, okay? So what we've learned about parallel setups is that like, uh, not only will you stack the batteries together in a parallel fashion, like so, okay, that uh, the ma over here all gets shared together, right? So that like you double, triple, quadruple the, 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 the milliamp hours depending on how many batteries that you have set up in here. However, okay, uh, what isn't mentioned is that the 
amps that it could handle also doubles, triples, quadruples, right? So uh, what happens over here is that like, say we have a 20 amp battery, like, you know, a Purple E-Fest, an LG HE2, an HE4, a Samsung 25R, you know, things that are just normally rated for 20 amps, right? And then we wired it in parallel, three of them. Well, 20, 20, 20, that would equal 60 amps. And that's how it would fire properly, okay? Um, but what I want to add to this on top of this, just for like everybody to know, right, is how the series configurations also works, okay? Because the parallel configurations is something of just of parallel nature, and you cannot calculate it through the Ohm's law calculator. But through Ohm's law, we could understand a lot about series configurations, all right? So say uh, we wanted to do something with, with the series configuration, right? Did you know that like if you doubled the voltage but maintained the same wattage, it would half the current. Was that was that very quick? Okay. So, but did you also know, right, that if you uh, doubled the voltage over here and maintained the same resistance, it would double the amperage that's required for, but the wattage that goes up would just amplify uh, exponentially. Okay. So let me show you what's going on over here and what real power vaping really could have, would have been if we actually had stuff out there to support it, okay? So um, doing things in series and doing things in parallel, two totally different things, okay? So uh, what I don't like about using this th stuff, right, is that like, you know, it would make it safer. Yeah, theoretically, it would make it safer. But vaping in this fashion, right, to try to vape at 0 0.06 to get up to 228 watts, you're going to be holding down that fire button for a long, long time to get there. That's really what the truth is. So in order to get yourself up to 200 watts easily, right, I would definitely recommend like a regulated device over unregulated device. Unregulated devices will get you there, but that thing is going to be piping hot before, it, you know, uh, like I said before in other videos, right, you're basically cooking your device before you're actually getting your juice to be that hot. Okay, so... Um, if we if we if we play around with the numbers over here, right? Uh, let's say we wanted to maintain two hundred and, and twenty eight watts, right? If you had a series configuration setup, then your nominal voltage over here would be seven point four. So seven point four and then two twenty eight, right? So let's say uh, seven point four and then we want to maintain two twenty eight over here. When you calculate this, right? All you have to do is build a 0.24 coil instead of building a 0 0.06 coil, right? And uh, you only need 30 amps per battery. So two 30 amp batteries would actually get you there as well, right? And uh, because we're firing at 7.4 on the voltage, uh, your ramp up time is going to be far better as well, okay? Um, another thing is, is to also keep in mind, right, that like, if, if you're firing at 7.4 with series stack batteries, had you kept the um, 0 0.06 over here, right? I just want you to calculate this for you guys to show you how scary the numbers could get, okay? That means that you would need a 125, 23, you know, amp battery each, right? And then they would fire this thing at like 900 and, you know, plus watts. So... You know, numbers that get very, very scary depending on like things wired in parallel and, and series configuration and stuff like that. Now, last thing that I want to follow up with, right, regarding uh, this and would it be safe to vape, okay? Um, I feel as if like if you leave certain bits and pieces of information out, then you're doing it wrong. You, you know what I mean? Like, like, like I'm not putting people on the right track if I just leave certain things out. So... On paper, right, saying that like, okay, if I had three batteries wired in parallel, am I safe? Uh, yes and no. Yes, in the sense that like on paper, yeah. Now you got the 60 amps and the 60 amps is to push the 0 0.06, et cetera, et cetera, okay, right? But that doesn't necessarily always mean that the uh, unregulated box mount that they made was safe, you know what I mean? It's gotta have MOSFETs in it, it's gotta have this and that. Uh, it, it's got to be built safely, all right? Um, the wires or the uh, rails inside ha uh, sh should be insulated. Uh, a lot of other things that you need to consider on top of the whole idea of vaping safety, not just the fact that the numbers pan out okay and like, oh, okay, I have batteries that fit these numbers and therefore let's go ahead and vape it. No, it's, it's, it's not that simple, all right? So 
uh, Irene, hope that answers your question and anybody else who also had questions on uh, Parallel and Series. So as always, question everything, do your homework, and vape clever, guys. Take care.